The Dallas Mavericks blew game four at home. Bruh. Can they make up for it in game five versus OKC tonight? Let's talk about it on your Dallas Mavericks update. Welcome back, welcome back to a Dallas Mavericks update right here on Dope Content and the Dope Sports Podcast. Yeah! yeah. This is brought to you by DopeContent.com. Yeah. yeah! Thank you for joining, man. We are here. We're going to keep it short and sweet. It's been a long morning for me. I mean, I, have, I got a headache and it's just now 12 noon here. Bruh. So, uh, it's been a long morning, right? But let's get right into it. We're not going to waste no time today, man. Dallas Mavericks... Lose game four to OKC at home, 100 to 96. And this game was just, it was weird, man. It was weird. The vibes around it was weird. The crowd was kind of weird. And the crowd, uh, during the Clipper series, the Mavs fans were very great. Like, even when they went down by, what, 20 plus in that game where Paul George went off, I believe that was game three. And Dallas, Paul George, and James Harden went off. Even when they was down 20, the crowd was still on their feet. They were loud. They were excited. And they willed the Mavs back into the game. This series, it just seemed like, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with this series. I don't know what's going on with this series, right? Maybe Mavs fans just made up in their mind that this is an easy win. And they just expect to be OKC. You can't think like that. OKC is the number one seed for a reason, right? So, uh, <coughs> excuse me. So you can't just think like that. And it felt like a regular season game. The two games that the Mavs lost felt like regular season games. Like game one, and I blame the refs for game one because the refs were calling fouls left and right. Nobody was able to really get in rhythm. You couldn't push the pace like you wanted to because, I mean, it was just foul after foul after foul. It felt like a regular season game, right? Um, game two and three, very physical, very physical. Um, it felt like the Clipper series. Like it, this series has turned out to be way more physical than what I thought it would be, but very physical. These two teams going at it. Um, Lucas busting his mouth, his leg is messed up. His, I mean, Lucas just hurt everywhere. You, you let Luca tell it, he says his whole body hurt, right? So, uh, but it felt more like a playoff game. It felt like more. It felt more like playoff games, you know, watching these games, game two and three. Game four started off fast, started off physical. The Mavericks get a lead, and then the third quarter, it just it just went down. Like, the crowd wasn't loud anymore. They wasn't standing up. They refused to wear the shirts for whatever reason. Bruh. Mavs, they, they put out shirts for the crowd to wear, like you see in Indiana, OKC, and yada yada where it the whole arena is a certain color Mavs fans refuse to wear the shirts so last game they said we're not putting out shirts we're just gonna put out towels and it worked in the first half and then the second half i guess since the Mavs had the lead and they pretty much was dominating the game it's like the fans just say oh whatever regular season game we should win this right and just we don't need to stand up a chair anymore like it's a playoff game. And the players started playing like it was a regular season game. And it was ridiculous. I didn't understand it. They got way too relaxed in this game. Um, Luka making all type of turnovers that just didn't make sense. Kyrie not taking shots. Like, I, I don't know what was going on. Like, they felt you can look at them and see that they were very relaxed. And the energy was different. And OKC was just like... Well, we still kind of, you know, we only 10 points here. Oh, man, now it's only six points here. And they still not turning up their intensity on their side. Oh, man, look, now it's four points here. And then the Mavericks will do, they'll, they'll score like four to six points straight. Right? And you think the Mavs are getting it back under control. And then they start playing relaxed again. Lucas start making, you know, throwing bad passes again. I don't know what was going on with Luca, right? Maybe he is beat up like he say he is, right? But OKC is just kind of like... Man, it's the fourth quarter. We only down six. We only down eight. Oh, we only down four. And it don't seem like they turn up their intensity. Let's turn up ours. And that's what happened. That's how they end up getting the win. The last three minutes of the game, OKC turned up their intensity, and the Mavs couldn't match it. 196. 
Mavs take the L. P.J. Washington with 21 points on 7-19 shooting. Uh, Derrick Jones, 17 points on 7-12 shooting. Gafford, 10 points, 4-7 shooting. Luka, 6-20 shooting, 18 points. Seven turnovers. Bruh. That's, I don't, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know what was going on <laughs> with Luka in that game. Tim Hardaway, six points, two or four shooting in 23 minutes. Shot the ball four times in 23 minutes, That's which is kind of crazy because Tim Hardaway will come in the game and fire it up. I don't, I don't know what happened in this game, but it is what it is, right? Derek Lively, seven points, 25 minutes, three or seven shooting, one or three from the free throw line. Luka went four or six from the three, uh, free, throw, free throw line. I can't even say free throw. Luka went four or six from the free throw line, and one of those two that he missed was one to tie the game at the end of the game. So hopefully free throws was something that they worked on, you know, doing practice. And we'll hopefully we see a better out in tonight. Uh, Josh Green, three points in 13 minutes, one of four shooting. Dante Exum, five points, two of four shooting. Kyrie Irving. Four of eleven shooting and nine points. Bruh. I mean, this this was just a weird game for the Mavs. Like the defense was great to hold OKC to right at a hundred, and OKC got majority. You know, they went on a run at the end to get there. The defense was great. It's just the offense was not clicking at all. Um, Holgram had eighteen points. Let's see, Jay Williams fourteen points. SGA. 34 points. He just went off at the end. 14 to 27 shooting for him. Dort has 17 points. They only got 12 points on the bench from Wiggins and Wallace combined. And then Giddy gave you five points. So again, the Mavs defense did a good job on them. It's just the the offense just could not get it together. And this is why on Facebook I would still say. That is Mavs and six. Because if you look at this stat line and you see that Luca gave you 18 on six of 20 shooting in 42 minutes, and he has seven turnovers, and then Kyrie Irving gives you nine points, nine assists. He get, he did have nine assists, but nine points from Kyrie Irving in 41 minutes, and he only shot the ball 11 times and made four. And the Mavs still had this game in control and they dominated majority of this game the Mavs had no business losing this game and they should win tonight and they should finish it off in game six just like they did the Clippers in the first round and that's what I'm expecting to happen I'm expecting PJ Washington to keep doing what he's doing what's crazy is if you if you watch the last video that I did on the Mavericks I was expecting PJ Washington to do this last series and he's actually doing it this series so uh i'll take whenever whenever he give it to us i'll take it right uh i'm not even gonna complain about it pj washington has stepped up big time he led the team in scoring which um i mean it, it can be a good thing or it can be a bad thing in this case it was a bad thing because luca didn't even get 20 Kyrie couldn't even get 10 right so if you telling me in game six or let's 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 just go back. Let's not even. I'm sorry, not game six. Game four. That Luke is gonna get you 18, seven turnovers. Kyrie give you nine. Tim Hardaway give you six. Dante Exum gives you five, and Josh Green gives you three. You tell me that you. I would have told you the Mavericks are gonna get blown out in game four. That's what I would have said. But looking at the stats. They shot 40% from the field, 34% from three, 52.2% from the free throw line. That's where the problem came in, right there. They lost because they could not make free throws. 12 of 23, absolutely ridiculous, including at the end, like I said earlier, Luka missed a clutch free throw that would have tied the game and possibly sent it to overtime. I don't see that happening again, right? I don't see them putting up an outing like this again and if Luca is really hurt like that don't play him 40 minutes 
play him 25 to 30 minutes. Let Kyrie be the aggressive and be the, the guy to take over the team. And you just put Luke in as you need him to be in in his spots, right? Because, I mean, he's he's limping around. He's he's complaining to the... That's that's one thing. You know what? Let's, let's talk about that. That's, that's one thing that absolutely irritates me. Complaining to the refs. Luca, stop doing that, bro. Bruh. Like, that's the only thing that frustrates me about Luca is his crying to the refs. Stop doing it. You're not going to get every call. Stop telling Jason Kidd to challenge every foul and every play. It don't work like that. Every time something happens, Luca is doing this every single time. And Jason Kidd just kind of rolls his eyes, put his hand in his pocket, and, and walks away. <laughs> right? Like, Luca, you're not gonna you're not gonna get every call. It's like, stop doing that. That's one thing I had. That's the problem I had with James Harden. And Luca's doing the same thing. Stop doing that, bro. And get back on defense. Cause you we already see that when you play defense, when you attempt to play defense, you're actually pretty good at it. Like you're very good at playing defense. The problem is you don't get back on defense all the time. Bruh. Like, can you can you stop? Please. It's the playoffs, man. It's been physical the first round, second round, it's gonna be physical the next round. And then if you make it to the finals, it's gonna be physical there. Stop crying to the refs. Stop crying to the refs. You're not gonna get a call, bruh. Not an unnecessary one, at least. Like you might you're gonna get some calls because you're Luca. But come on, man. And every time you take a bad shot and you get off balance, that don't mean somebody fouled you, man. Stop looking for the bell out. Get back up court and play defense. It's too many times while watching the Mavericks in in, in the playoffs. And Luca is on the ground because you you know he took a bad fadeaway shot or he lost his footing. Didn't even get touched. And I'm a Mavericks fan saying this. He didn't even get touched on some of these shots. He just took a bad shot at a bad angle and, you know, lost his balance or whatever, right? They get the rebound. The other team get the rebound. You see Kyrie running or you'll see Josh Green or somebody running and it's two on one or three on two. You know, they on a fast break because Luka is on the ground and he's doing this, putting his hands up, trying to, you know, talk to the refs and all that. Stop doing that, bro. It's the playoffs. We don't have time for you to cry to the ref. Get your butt up. Go play defense. And if you that hurt, it, the way you can't get up and run back on defense, go sit down. Take a break. You know, put an icy hot, an ice pack or something on your leg. Do something. Take a break. Like, I love the fact that you're toughing it out and you being the leader, the star player that you should be. You know, you, you, you hit your mouth on the court and you stayed in. You trip. You got tripped up a couple of times on your bad leg, and you stayed in. Like I appreciate all that, but stop complaining to the doggone refs. Bruh. Please stop doing that. Please stop doing that, bro. They're not, they're not gonna call everything. If you miss and you took a bad shot, you just took a bad shot. Get back on defense. Cause again, we know you can play defense. We've seen it. Ain't no more playing around now. Trying to question if Luca can play defense. We know you can play defense. We've seen it all season. So no more excuses on that. It's just about you wanting to do it. That's what it's about. So stop all that crying, Luca, man. Ain't, Mavs fans are tired of seeing that crap. Like, for real. Stop stop it, bro. All that whining, stop it. Kyrie, you got to be more aggressive. You said this yourself after game three. When you took over in the fourth quarter, one of your coaches came to you and said, Hey, you waited. To, you did a good job, but you waited too late to kick in. And then you even said, I got to do better at that. That's what you said, Kyrie. And then you came out and shot the ball 11 times the whole game. Bruh. Like, what's the deal? Josh Green, I'm going to need you to start making some of them corner threes, bruh. You wide open and you, you, you hitting the front of the rim. You hitting the other side of the rim. And sometimes you ain't hitting nothing at all. Or you hit the back of the backboard. I need you to get hot again, Josh. Uh, at least warm, because you started off hot in this series, then you just went down. Tim Hardaway. I, you know, 
Just tell your dad to stop talking. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what to say about Tim Hardaway. Just just tell your dad to stop talking. Please. Tell your dad to stop talking. It's like he's not helping nothing. Going on these podcasts and shows and Fox Sports and all that and talking about my son ain't getting no shirts. They, they just Luca and Curry. The Tim Hardaway is the best shooter on the team, man. Like, Bruh. Shut up, bro. Nobody want to hear that. Nobody want to hear that. Uh, Derek Lively. I don't know, man. Like, I, I love the, eff- the effort that he's doing. Gafford, I love the effort he's doing. It, it was just a weird game, man. Game four was weird. And it felt weird watching it. Like, even when the Mavs was up, I was just like, something don't feel right. They just, I don't know. They too relaxed for me. It's too laid back. Like, I feel like I'm watching a game in December. Like, it didn't feel like a playoff game. Part of that is the crowd, and part of that is how the Mavs was playing. Okay, see, so played. A, they wasn't shooting the ball well in the first half, and you just let them stick around. That's why you got to put your foot on their throat and just take care of business. When they not shooting well, do your thing. Your defense is playing well. Put them points up, man, and just keep attacking. Keep attacking. P.J. Washington seems like he's the only one that wanted to keep attacking, so... But it is what it is. It is now tied 2-2. Game 5 is tonight in OKC. Um, it's a lot going on tonight because Dallas Wings opened up their season against Angel Reese and Chicago tonight. Yeah. So I will be out there covering that for the Dallas Wings. Um, and then, you know, whenever I can, I'm going to pull up my phone and try to, <laughs> try to watch the Mavs game as well. So maybe at halftime, I'll check in with the Mavs. After the game, we're doing timeouts. I check in on my phone with the Mavs. You know, I had a YouTube TV on my phone, keeping up with them. But uh, I got, to, I still got the Mavs in six. Like nothing about this series shows me that OKC is better than the Mavericks. Um, and I said the Mavs will win because of experience. I think the Mavs are the more experienced team. They know how to get through tough times like this versus OKC. I think OKC is going to make mistakes. And they did make mistakes in game three. Uh, They made mistakes at the end of game two as well. I feel like they're going to make some more mistakes. So I I got the Mavs. I got the Mavs in six. They'll win tonight. Luka will have a way better game. I think Kyrie will be way more aggressive than what he was in game four. Um, And, you know, I don't. For the simple reason they don't want they don't like dealing with the OKC fans, right? <laughs> like OKC fans have really been getting on their nerves. Like you see Kyrie yelling, calling him the P-word and yelling, you know, yelling by Luca, they they talking noise, Luca Chen, Luca sucks. Like, yeah, I think I think the Mavs want to finish OKC off in these next two games. And they want this to be the last time they go to OKC for the rest of the year. So, I think that's what's going to happen. It's going to be like the Clippers. Uh, Mavs finish them off in six. If you have any different thoughts, let me know in the comments section. I appreciate y'all watching. Didn't mean to do that. Appreciate y'all watching, man. Thank y'all for joining. Um, I, once again, I try to keep this short and sweet. So it's under 20 minutes. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut it short. Yeah. <laughs> right? I got the Mavs tonight. In game five, and I got them winning in game six. Dez Bryant bet against the Mavs tonight. So, you know, Dez about to lose your money. I'm just let you know that now. You about to lose your money. Mavs in six. Uh, they'll win tonight. Luka will have a better game. I, I expect Luka to drop 30. And I think Kyrie is going to drop about 25. PJ is going to give you his 15 to 20 points. And I think it's just going to be a better series. Like, I, I'm sorry, not a better series, a better game for the Mavs. But the Mavs really missed the opportunity here, right? Especially in seeing what's happening in Denver and Minnesota. Mavs had a chance to go up 3-1 and finish them tonight so you can actually rest your star players because they desperately need rest. Two physical series back-to-back, they need rest. Luka beat up, yada, yada. You had a chance to put OKC away, and all you had to do was finish them tonight, but you blew it. You blew it. Bruh. So now you have to play a minimum of two more games instead of one more game. And now that Denver has came back and taken the lead in that series, they might be done in the next game. So it ain't going to be no rest like it should have been. 
Like, hopefully Minnesota win and they go to Game Seven, but it don't look like it's gonna be no rest. Like it should, like it should have been, right? You should have finished them in Game Four, and if they end up losing this series by some some way, I don't think they will. If they do end up losing this series, Game Four is gonna be the reason why they why they lost the series, and they're gonna. This is gonna be a staple game. So again, I expect the Mavs come out hard tonight. I expect them to do what they're supposed to do. Luca's gonna give you about thirty points. Kyrie's gonna give you about twenty five. PJ's gonna do his thing between fifteen and twenty. So all your prize pick players, make sure you play those numbers right there. Luca will have over thirty. Kyrie will have over twenty five, and then PJ will have somewhere between fifteen and twenty points. And then that's all I got, man. Thank y'all for joining. Until next time. Y'all be safe. Have a good day. Um, if you're going to the Wings game, I'll see you out there tonight. Um, if not, you know, have fun watching the Mavs. Have fun watching the Stars. Go Stars. Yeah. By the way, Stars taking care of business. Rangers, I don't know what the Rangers doing right now. Bruh. But it is what it is. They were a series champions. I'm going to let them slide right now. It's a early, it's a long season in baseball. So we, I ain't going to stress about them right now. But go Stars. Go Wings. Go Mavs. Yeah, and go Rangers. And then once football starts, we'll you know we'll talk about that whenever. I don't want to talk about football right now. <laughs> I don't want to talk about the Cowboys right now. But y'all be safe, man. Until next time, I'm out.